Hey everybody, Kristen here, and I have, gosh, what is it, April? I have April's Cotton Cuts box. Um, for those of you who don't know, Cotton Cuts is a monthly subscription, but it's not a one size fits all. It, um, they actually go through and curate the fabric um, for you based on your preferences. So you actually get to talk um, to a consultant, a, a fabric enthusiast, and talk to them about what you like, what you don't like, and they'll um, customize and surprise you with all kinds of goodies. So that is my spiel on the awesomeness of cotton cuts. Uh, I really, I've been doing this, gosh, probably like two years. And every, you know, I do get things that I'm like, eh, not my, not my jam, but there's also things that I didn't think I'd like and I do. So it's great if you want to expand, um, you know, out of just a, a specific genre or things like that. So inside it says, do not wait for inspiration. It comes while one is working. And on the back side, it shows uh, what I have in my box and who packed it. So this month was Amanda. Hi. And I've got Batiks, which is Hummingbird Lane by Lund Studios for Robert Kaufman. Reproduction is Homestead Harvest by Julie Letvin for Robert Kaufman. I have Juvenile and Children's is Prickly Pear by Emily Taylor for Figo Fabrics. And my blunders are Oh Happy Day by Sandy Gervais for Riley Blake. Then we also have um, a Land Yap, which is just a little something extra for the Cotton Cuts Classic members. And this month is a handy notebook of various brightly covered sticky notes. Cool. We also have a um, designer spotlight, which is Julie Barton of Running Stitch Quilts. And we get like a little bit of a um, bio. And then we also have a code to pick one of her quilt designs as part of our membership. So that is pretty cool. And I don't know, there's like three of them that I want. So I'm gonna have to sit and look. Um, we also have the Cotton Cuts block of the month, which they've changed it up. Um, it used to just be, here's a quilt block and um, the coloring page on the back. But now they give you a how-to, which I think is awesome. Um, these I will definitely be keeping. I love having um, the little bit of how-to and then I don't have to search the internet uh, to see how to put everything together. All right, so if you can post your completed coloring sheet by April 30th using hashtag CC color challenge, to win a prize. So again, you're going to color that and um, they made it a different, um, I think it's like more matte. Um, so you can actually color this, I think. Unlike the more glossy ones that they used, used to send with us, you can kind of see how it's really glossy. Oof. Um, hopefully y'all didn't see the, the code or if you did, be good and don't pause it and try to steal a code. Thank you. <laughs> Um, anyway, so it's a matte one, so you can actually color it. Um, all right, piecing it real with the Le Yvette, your, oh goodness, I cannot talk today. Yvette Renee, um, foundation paper piecing online membership. So she also does these box openings and has some other ones that she does. Um, she's kind of fun to watch. So if you haven't checked her out yet, you should. On, uh, on YouTube here and she started piecing it real to mentor fellow quilters in their quest to master foundation paper piecing. Very cool. So if that's something that you're interested, um, the website is right there. You could probably just Google it um, and get that. Okay, so my little goodie um, sticky notes is right here comes in lots of pretty different colors. And so you've got, oh, one's falling out, like little ones for pages and then nice big sticky note as well. So I will be using that. All right, let's get into the good stuff that everybody's been waiting for, my fabric. So really bright and cheerful and I'm loving the color palette this month. Um, that's just really perking up my day, so. Let's get into it. Uh, right, my boutiques. Let's start with that. So that's Hummingbird Lane. And I really like 
how it's color coordinated, but sometimes I'm like, wait, which one's which? <laughs> oh, but I love opening the box and having the color coordination. That makes me very happy. So this is um, one of my fabrics for the batik. So it's red and then you've got um, like yellows and blues and greens for the hummingbirds, which is really pretty. Um, that's not a batik. And then I've got this green and blue. Hopefully you can kind of see it. It's a little hard in this lighting, um, but it's all like flowers and um, leaves. So very pretty. Okay. Next is my reproductions. So I'm going to get my best guess as to what my reproductions are. Did anybody else just get grease stuck in their head? I think it's grease too. Reproduction, reproduction. No, just me? Okay. That happens. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to guesstimate these two. So I've got a nice red, like a not quite cranberry, but a nice deep red, I would say. And what is this? Like a really, really deep navy, I think, um, with like lighter blue circles on there. So pretty. I haven't had reproductions in a while. Um, I kind of got burned out on them, but those are really pretty. I like them. Uh, Juvenile and Children's is Prickly Pear for Figo. Okay, this is going to be a challenge because... We also have Oh Happy Day as blenders. So I might be needing help in the comments because I failed and I did not look this month at what we had. I just, life got away from me, so I have no idea. But I will show you all of them and they're very pretty. So we have, um, you know, we have limes and uh, oranges and grapefruit and lemons. So that's fun and bright and then sun. Or maybe it's like a lemon with a sunburst around it. Kind of depends on how you want to look at it. And then let's go green. Green with white and blue diamonds. Very pretty. We have... Um, the same in red with white and peach diamonds. We have a red floral, which is really pretty. I like this a lot. Um, yellow and white and peach and green in there. I have to say, I think this is my favorite fabric out of the box. Um, it kind of reminds me of like 4th of July without being super 4th of July. Um, it, it looks almost like fireworks. And this print just makes me super happy. <laughs> uh, and then I have two blues. So I have this nice like um, cross hatch, which would be a really nice blender um, or background fabric. And then this other really pretty blue in the same shade with, they're not quite X's. If you can see, they have like the little, um, different shape to them but really pretty so that is what i have this month um i really hope that y'all have been having a great april um i'm looking forward to next month and seeing what that brings and i'm just enjoying this box even though i really failed and didn't tell them anything about what i liked about last month and what i wanted from this month they really came through so that just goes to show that if you have that relationship with your um, fabric enthusiasts. You've been telling them your likes and dislikes for a while. They kind of get to know you and um, they're pretty good about picking stuff out. So that's um, what I got for you this month. I hope everybody's doing well and I will see you next month.